Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we have the Z51 Predator 2 channel RC aeroplane, which is a whole lot of fun for under £25. Hi, and welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Predator, another two channel little plane. So this one is 400mm long and it's got a 660mm wingspan and it's good for about 150 metres, mm, I don't know about that, and 20 minutes or more flight time. So let's have a look and see what you get in the box. Very difficult to pull out of the box of these things there. So, unlike the other one we did, this one has not got, doesn't need to be glued. So this is the wings, and you can see they're quite a bit bigger than the other ones, and they're held together in the centre by a bit of tape. And then you've got the fuselage, again quite a bit longer. This is quite a bit heavier, I think this is 80 something grams or something like that. Just tell you on the box I think. And then you have, if I can get it out of the box. The tail section, so the difference with this one is everything just pushes together. I did have it the right way around the first time. So this one just pushes together and then two screws go up there, two sorry, two screws go up there to hold it in for your tail and the wings similarly go on the top, plug your motors in, you don't need to motor them already installed on this one, and then it has a plastic cover that goes over the top and you screw that down and that will hold the wings on. So similar to the other one, it's two channels so it works on the fact that these motors will spin at different speeds to make it turn and it has got a stabilised a stabiliser inside it so it has got a stabilised flight mode. And like I say it's quite a bit heavier than the other one we did the other day. So it gets, you get a 450 milliamp hour 3.7 volt LiPo, there's the landing gear and that cover that goes on there and then you get the transmitter there. I actually prefer this transmitter to the other one because you can't go that way if you look. It's the same, it's the same type of thing but it just this one feels a bit more in your hand it feels a bit more like a normal transmitter. So the same thing, throttle up, throttle down and left and right. So that's how you steer and then obviously that was your throttle. So the idea of these is you can leave it at a certain throttle and virtually just steer it round with that. And then it's got a couple of flight modes on there. We'll discuss more of that when we do the flight video at the end. And it runs on four AA batteries. So that's the craft. So enough of me jabbering, let me go build it and I shall be back in a second. Okay, so here it is all built up. Took me about five minutes, it literally did. So this part is here is held with the three screws underneath, one, two, three, two screws at the back hold that piece on and then your landing gear just pops in there and in there and then in there you've got your battery and your power switch and everything. You just plug the two wires in from the wings which is the most difficult because they're a bit fiddly to get in and you're done. So let's just show you it works. So little light flashes underneath telling you it's waiting to be bound transmitter on there you go, we're bound so there you go, so if I go if I move it left and right you'll hear the motors changing and that's a stabiliser inside trying to hold the, the craft level and then if I go left and right on my stick as you can see there the motor tone changes because it's slowing one down and speeding the other up. It's quite, it's quite quiet actually, it's a very quiet little thing. And then throttle off, and even with the throttle off, if you're going to go left and right, it is going to speed your motors up. Now the reason it's doing that is because obviously you might want to glide, so if you're gliding and you've got no power on there, you still need to have power here obviously to turn. So hence why, even with your throttle off, you've still got You've actually got more, if you notice them, they red more because it's going to need more power to turn. So, that's it. It weighs just shy of 90 grams, so it's not that, it's not that light actually. It's heavier than I thought it was going to be. It does feel really nicely 
nice and strong the EPP it's quite strong I think it's EPP um, and you can see you don't want to have your landing gear on you can just land it on his belly I've put this on I won't be taking off a landing with this I'll be taking off a landing and just belly landing it but I've put them on because the grass might be a bit uh, the grass might be a bit long where we go and a bit wet so let's go fly it so this is the flight test of the Predator Sorry the flight test didn't as long as I would have liked. I was short on time in the day unfortunately and I didn't realise what time it was. So as you can see it launches very easily, it flies very very nicely for what it is. It's two channel, like all two channel planes, once you've got the throttle to the place you like it's much easier to fly. But as you can see I had no problem with it, this was the first time I've flown it. It's very little wind, probably one maybe two miles an hour but it was an absolutely gorgeous day to fly. So enjoy the rest of the video, it's a definite winner for me. If you want a two channel plane or you're looking for something to get into the hobby, this thing is absolutely perfect. Thanks for watching, have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.